So we'll summarize some of our discussions of resource-based view. Now, if you want to look at a resource-based view analysis of resources and capabilities, of course, the first thing, as I mentioned, identify in a, as objectively as you can, the firm's resources and capabilities, and explore the linkages between those once you've done, once you've assessed them, explore the linkages. Then you want to appraise the firm's resources and capabilities in terms of strategic importance and their relatively, relative strength. And that'll kind of give you some idea of your potential for sustainable competitive advantage. Now, understanding your uh, potential for sustainable competitive advantage will lead you to the strategic planning phase. And you have to develop strategic implications for your resources and capabilities that you currently have. Okay? So look at them in relation to the strengths. How can these resources and capabilities be exploited more effectively or fully? And you also have to assess them in relation to your weaknesses. You need to identify any opportunities for outsourcing, i.e. activities that are better performed by other organizations. And how can these weaknesses be corrected through acquiring and developing other resources and capabilities like through mergers and acquisitions? And of course, if you have some sort of a weakness, you can also look at uh, incubation, which is a, a popular approach. That's a form of corporate entrepreneurship where you uh, try to harness and develop innovation internally. Another way to um, develop capabilities where you might be weak is looking at better human resource management practices, developing individual com uh, competencies, hiring talent outright. You can look at uh, better product sequencing. Okay? Um, and you can also look at having a change management program uh, to encourage innovative values and behaviors. GE is notorious for this. I also talk about this in my Lean Six Sigma videos if you're interested. Now the resource-based view approach also isn't perfect. First of all, it doesn't really understand the role of opportunity in the development process because it kind of looks at opportunities as transient, so there's not kind of a unifying goal, okay, because you're always looking inside the firm. And furthermore, the fact that learning or competence acquisition um, is triggered and enhanced by the need of, notion, of the notion of stretch versus uh, fit. You also have to be able to actually understand your competitors and their impact of the strategic court choices. Again, by looking internally, in some ways, the competition is ignored under a resource-based view because the idea is that you're always growing the pie ever more, so you don't really need to worry about the competition um, that much. Oh, and I wanted to mention another thing on the fact that learning is triggered by need. Again, think of the fact that if you have a given opportunity that you're trying to pursue, that opportunity can kind of serve as a magnet, can kind of pull you towards that opportunity. So if you're only focusing on developing new internal resources and capabilities, you may not be learning the right things because you're not necessarily having a real application of that learning. You're just focusing on developing new resources and capabilities that may or may not ever get used. Furthermore, the resource-based view, and we'll talk more about this in corporate strategy, is very biased against unrelated diversifications, which can stifle innovation, and it encourages diversification drift for related diversification. So it almost encourages you to continue to buy more and more firms to develop uh, the capabilities inside the firm, but doesn't encourage you to actually take a moment and stop, uh, stop acquiring similar capabilities. And it does overestimate the transferability of resources and capabilities within the firm. If it's difficult for an external firm to acquire your resources and capabilities, it can also be difficult sometimes to transfer them within a given firm. Well, great. I hope you've enjoyed this discussion, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next module.